Hello, it's Kendra, and it is time for another installment of Freak or Frog. What is Freak or Frog, you may ask? Well, it is my series where I go and find some Wobegon whips and decide what to do with them. Am I going to freak out and put them onto my Alma Hook list, or am I going to frog them and reincorporate that good yarn, which does not belong in bad projects, back into my stash and turn it into something great? Well, today we are going to work with the contents of this bag. I know what is in here. Today I am frogging with a purpose. I already know that frogging is what is going to occur. First of all, there's this skein of yarn, which is just in here because I had been considering doing something with this and the yarn in here at a different point, but that will just go right back into stash. This is a blanket that I have been working on. I was going to give it to one of my nephews, but it has been a while and it has sat here. And I was really enthusiastic when I started it. This is what it looks like. And, oop, hold on, stitch marker caught. There we go. I was really enthusiastic when I started it, but that enthusiasm has waned and it has been a while. And so I know that my, my gauge and things are not going to match so, I am going to frog this. And I am going to make something immediately out of it. I am going to make another lodge sweater. You may have seen my previous lodge sweater that I ended up making a little smaller than I wanted. This one I want to make big and flouncy. And I wanted another grayish black accessory piece that I have made. So, that is my plan out of this Karen One Pound. And I have all of the yarn that is in this. Um, there's another random ball of camo super saver in here. That will go back into stash as well. Apparently, I was just like keeping things in this bag with this afghan. And then here is the rest of the Karen one pound skein. I'm guessing there is, there is a place where they are joined. So I'm guessing this is a skein and that this is the second skein. And then I know I have one more skein in stash. So I have more than enough yarn to finish the sweater that I have in mind. So I'm gonna go and frog this and roll it up so that way I can um, put it together and start making that lodge sweater whenever the mood strikes me. And after much frogging, here we have the yarn that I reclaimed. This is Karen Jumbo in the color Dalmatian. Ordinarily, I try to just kinda like wrap around the big ball with what I am originally frogging because then I have fewer ends to weave in ultimately, but this is such a big hunk. I just went ahead and trimmed the end and started frogging from there. Then I ended up with this one, I believe is what was the rest of this ball. And then this was all in there and then this little piece. I believe there was a knot in the first skein if I remember, but it's been a while. And now this is all ready to go back, sit and stash for the time being until I finish something else and I can start on the sweater that I want to make. I also took this opportunity to start something I've been thinking about for a while, about how to organize my projects. Now I know lots of people like to use Ravelry project pages, I just don't. Unless I'm entering a giveaway or a crochet along, I just don't like that, the, um, like the, computer version, I guess. Like, I like having it physically tangible. I have tried keeping very detailed notebooks with all that stuff written down. I know lots of you are very good at that, keeping track of your yarns and your hooks and whatever. It just seems like work to me. And this is supposed to not be work. And if it's one more step that is work, it takes away from the energy I have to work on things that like I actually want to. But I did decide that I needed an on the hook list. So here it is. This is an old window frame. I had had a glass piece that I painted, but the glass broke. So right now it just has cork on the bottom. I might add cork to the top or something else decorative. I haven't decided yet. But I just went ahead and took some small index cards, cut them in half, and then on each one I wrote down every project that I'm currently acknowledging exists. So all of the whips I have started, all of the whips I have in progress, and then anything from Freaker Frogs that I have unearthed from the drawer and decided need to be dealt with. So on there, there is the name of each project as well as the episode of Makes Monday that they appeared on the first time or what freak or frog number or something of that nature. Just give me a reference of how long they've been hanging around as well as the month and year that they either were started if their new starts, you know, semi-recently or the month and year of the freak or frog where they were unearthed. 
So I can now work on things in a somewhat more organized manner and I can actually visually see how much I have. And one of the things that actually stood out to me most when I did make my on the hook list is how small it actually is, or at least small to me. It only has 16 items on it. And one of those is actually a sewing thing. So it really isn't that terrible. A lot of those things don't need a huge amount of work. Some of them need a lot, but it is a very manageable amount, I think, for me. Obviously, that number is going to be different for everybody. So I suggest that you kind of think about what you really have going and which things you're going to acknowledge exist and perhaps acknowledge the existence of a whip or two that you've been pretending have disappeared. And either freak and put it on your on the hook list or go ahead and frog it and take that good yarn, turn it into a good project. On the screen is the link to the other Freak or Frog videos in case you've missed them, as well as a link to the most recent episode of Makes Monday. And down below, there is a link to my Etsy shop if you'd like to help support me. YouTube will no longer allow me to put that link up here on the screen. So if you'd like to see my project bags and crocheted items, you can go ahead and click down there. I'll see you all next time.